Hi, Facebook. Okay, you guys, welcome to Bridget Inspired, my new Facebook page. Nice to see you. I'll give you a few moments to pop on in to the live stream. Now, it's been a while since I've done a live stream OG like on Facebook. So let's see if I can kind of manage the video technology and all that jazz. So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to pop in. Let's make sure you can hear me okay. I'm going to refresh my page. I'm watching on my uh, page itself just to see and make sure everything's going good here. Let's take a peek. All right. Again, you are going to watch this live stream on December 31st, 2019. This is Bridget. Welcome to Bridget Inspired. Can you let me know if you can hear me? That would be great. I'm just going to refresh my page here. I'm following along on my laptop. Just a minute. Let me check my technology. Let's get these uh, handy dandy glasses on. I know that the lighting is just horrible in here. Ugh. Like I said, I'm more used to YouTube live stream, not Facebook. So this is a little old school for me right now. But I'm trying. I'm trying. So let's see. I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to get that notification. Oh, it looks like we are live. I'm going to double check the sound quality here. Just a moment. I'm following along on my laptop. Oh, yes. Good, good, good. Okay. Technology. Let's get these. Uh, let's go back here. Come on. I know that the lighting is just mm -hmm. horrible. I'm listening to myself talk. It's so weird. Okay. All right. So then I can watch your comments here. You can hear me fine. Thanks. Hi, Hallie. Nice to see you. All right, let's see who else do I have. I have Jessica. Oh my gosh. Hi, Jess. It's awesome to see you. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, that makes me feel good. All right. Now, at here at Bridget inspired my Facebook page. As you know, many of you are transitioning over from the Purple Medium Facebook page. And so thank you. I know it's going to take some time for everybody to kind of move on over and get used to me having my own page. I wanted to really bring everything together and connect under one Bridget. So I am grateful that you guys are here to celebrate with me. All right, I am gonna grab, let's just see here. I got a notebook and I got a pen. I'm just gonna refresh here for a second. I know I was a bit late. Let's just see if I can, I'm just gonna check this again. All right, you guys. Hey, Laura. Laura just joined us. That's great. Nice to see you guys. Oops. Hey. Yeah, Happy New Year to you as well. Happy New Year, everyone. All right, it's kind of a mellow night around here. My daughter actually is home from college, but she's out with her friend boy. <laughs> and some friends for the evening and they're staying over at a girlfriend's house and then um, my two older boys are at their dad's house tonight for new year's and my youngest my elementary school boy is downstairs playing all his new video games from christmas and my hubbies is in the next room doing some magic with taxes something that i dread and that he dreads too. Literally, he has to take a couple of days off work just to do the taxes because for business taxes, it is like a chore, man. And I am not super great with details. As you all know, if you watch me at Above Life channel on YouTube, you know my details are just not my jam, man. They're just not. Um, better at other things. I'm more of a people person, not a numbers and taxes person. But thank goodness my husband is okay with doing that, although it is stressful because he has to ask me questions and I'm like, ah. So yeah, not the funnest part about having your own. I don't think people realize it. Actually, we were having a conversation with the kids um, the other day. They were asking me, the boys, the older boys were asking me how much money we made. That's like a weird question, right? How do you feel that with your kids? It's like, oh, uh, because then they're trying to figure it out in their mind, like what you spent on Christmas and how much you like maybe spent too much kind of thing, you know, I think. And so they were asking us about about how much we make and stuff. And I was telling them that it's hard to calculate how much I actually make as income because it's about 40% that I pay in taxes. I mean, it's a lot. Like people have no idea. It's like 40%. So if I make $100 in an hour, I maybe get 60, maybe $65 out of that. Not 100, you know, so it's really a 
it's a, a tricky thing being an entrepreneur and being in a business for yourself. I love it. I love the freedom and flexibility of it, but the tax part, I'm so glad that my husband is okay doing that. <laughs> so, all right, I'm just gonna jump on and say hello to a few of you and then we'll get started here. Let's see, I'm just gonna update my page. I'm gonna reload. There we go, okay. I know I have an old um, profile picture. I know, I know I have an old profile picture up. It's not that old, it's really from uh, the summer of this 2019 where I spent some time out in New England, flew into Boston, Logan Airport, which I've done many times before, and I got to go to New Hampshire this time and for an incredible healing, really deep, intensive um, activation retreat um, series of workshops. I don't know that it was a retreat really, but it was just such a wonderful thing that I did and experienced. And this is a picture, my, my profile picture I chose because although I look different now, my hair is way different now. It's just such a good memory for me with wonderful, amazing, empowering women. And I chose it to remind me of how important and special it is to find kindred spirits. And part of my work, whether it's at Above Life Channel, the Purple Medium, or whether it was as Fairy Grasshopper or working with my Divine Woman Group, or part of my moon club, whatever it is, however we connect or know each other, that kind of energy is so sacred, that kind of true kindred spirit connection. And it's so valuable, it's like a treasure and you can't buy that, you can't buy that. It has to develop over time and be organic and, and a relationship of connection is so much what we are craving, especially us as women, we're just craving it. And it's, it's so tricky because we have resistance when it comes to trust and competition and some masculine ego systems that we're working in and working through and trying to maybe overthrow or grassroots make changes. But during that process of growth and, and there, there is frustration, there's irritation, and sometimes we take it on each other as women and not help each other, but kind of overstep each other and step on each other's toes. And it can be a challenging place to navigate interpersonal relationships, especially for people who are divine women and who are in feminine power. And so I acknowledge that and I, I'm so very grateful for that experience this summer. Um, some amazing women and um, some that I've known for about four or five years now and some new friends too. So I appreciate that. So if I can create some of that or allow an opportunity, whether it's through a Facebook page, whether it's through a small group, which I'll talk about later in my new service offerings, then I can maybe help you bridge that relationship and connect to fill in some of the gaps there, to make it a little closer, a little safer for you to walk across that bridge, to build some, foster some relationships even if it's with people that you might never meet on Facebook, they can sometimes be your closest friends. In fact, I have a dear, dear, dear friend of mine who some of you may know, Rebecca Cavender. She's a writer, an intuitive writer, a mystic scribe. She's an author of multiple books and just an incredible way shower when it comes to helping women excavate through writing. I'm just incredible, poetic, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful friend of mine. And with her, I am so, how do I say? I'm so inspired. And to know somebody like that, we met online in a class, like I think seven or eight years ago, you guys. And we are like best friends and we've never met in person. And it can happen for you too. It can 100%, especially soul to soul connection. So, all right, so let me just make sure that I can say hello to you guys if my computer will cooperate with me. Let's work some magic on the laptop because it's really kind of looking funny right now. Jeez, you'd think it was Mercury retrograde or something the way my computer is fussy. Oh, there we go, yay. Okay, now I can see it. All right, you guys. Let me make sure I say hello to you. It's easier for me to see it on my computer screen than my tiny little um, camera phone that I'm using right now. So let me say hello to a few of you lovely ladies. All right. Hello, Terry. Hi, Leah. Hi, Frith. Nice to see you. 
<sighs> Feels good to connect. Hello, Jean. Nice to see you. All right. I know I've set up a few shout outs already to some of you. I know Laura was on here, another gifted author, friend of mine. All right, let's just take a peek here. See what I can see. I'm going to refresh. It is a little tricky to do this in both places, but I appreciate your patience. We're going to get to the good stuff. I promise you, be patient with me here. Let me just, yeah, I can only see a few at a time. Let me try to read on here. <laughs> oh, I already said hi to all you guys that I see here. That's great. Oh my gosh, Lindsay, wow! Nice to see your beautiful name. Oh, it's been forever. Michelle, hi there, nice to see you. Huh, thanks, thanks for saying glad you're on Facebook because the people on YouTube are like, don't do it on Facebook. I'm like, people, people, people. I can't please everybody all the time and most of the people never. So I'll be here a little bit celebrating Bridget Inspired, my attempt to bring everything under one umbrella of a bridge. Et. So we can have some fun here. Hello, Teresa. Nice to see you here. Oh, you look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. I know this hair is crazy, right? Can't decide if I look like uh, my boys tease me and they tell me I look like James Charles. I said, let's be clear, honey. He looks like me. I did this hairstyle first and then he did it. Or if I look like, um, oh, there's somebody else that I was thinking. Oh, I can't remember now. I just, it's easier to just put it up than it is to try to fix it all down to the sides. All right, nice to see you. Oh, Caroline, oh my goodness. Hey, Callie girl. Um, say hi to Odie, give your puppy a squeeze for me. Luis, over in UK, oh my gosh. One of my PRD friends, I love you so much. Luis made me a beautiful purple scarf. You guys handmade big loops and if I had it, I'd grab it right now and show you. I wear it, I love it. Love it, love it. Thank you so much. Hi, Rachel. Nice to see you. Okay, let's see. I think I've pretty much got just about everybody here. All right, ladies. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started. Now, I wanted to do a group thing because that's the kind of vibe that we need and we're craving. Aren't you craving that? I mean, seriously, aren't you feeling like it sure would be nice if you could actually have some friends that you could trust to share how you feel, what your real dreams are without like dialing them back or making them see very realistic and attainable. And you know, because goals are like really important supposedly, right? Instead of goals, let's think about intentions. Instead of tasks to do, let's think about energy and consider natural rhythms, okay? Let's change our the words that we use to describe some of these things because some of these things do not sound fun. So maybe I should use this as an example for myself instead of thinking about taxes or bills, maybe I should think about an opportunity to express my abundance for the gift and opportunity of having a business, for helping women, for connecting with our spirits. Perhaps I should consider it that way. What is small price to pay? Hmm? All right. So what should we do first? Should we channel or should we do cards? Now you guys, I have to tell you, in one of my videos at Above Life Channel, I did a recommendations for gifts. And this card deck is one of those recommendations. It's the Sacred Traveler card deck by Denise Lynn. Here's Denise Lynn. She's often, she's connected with Hay House. I think if memory serves me correctly, she had a radio show on Hay House Radio. That's online, so you can look it up. It's Denise Lynn, L-I-N-N, -N, Denise. This woman has a great energy, very grounded, connected to the animals and to the earth. And I think she's Cherokee. I believe that's her heritage. So she's really got an incredible honoring vibrational energy. So I like her stuff. Um, the Sacred Traveler deck is particularly beautiful because it's got this gorgeous purple top see that and it's thick the cardstock is awesome that matters when you use card decks so for some of you who don't know because i don't talk about card decks or card stuff on above life channel or i haven't yet cards are simply a tool they're a tool it's like a kid using flashcards to learn sight words. That's what they do in kindergarten now. They don't even like do the alphabet, recognize the letters. They do like 
words like a picture of a car and the word car. And so that's kind of what card decks can be used for. They are not this incredibly magical wisdom Harry Potter thing. That's not what they are, like this, this creepy um, lore movie-like thing. That's not what card decks are. Now, sometimes when you watch on YouTube or Facebook, you'll see people like doing a tarot deck. This is not a tarot deck. Tarot typically has some kind of a lineage associated with it and a structure or a system that's associated with it, which is throughout all time and space and beyond and connects to multiple layers of energy. And people kind of associate with that. They feel a draw to that culture or feel a draw to that lore or feel a draw to that heritage or that lineage in a spiritual context. So sometimes people use tarot cards. So there's very different types of tarot cards. I do not use tarot cards. I personally think it's very complicated. I think like, why do I need to learn? That's like too brain intellectual. It should, it should be easy, lighthearted and fun. And that's how when I do my work at Above Life Channel or here with you, uh, Bridget Inspired, or when I'm doing work with you like in small groups or in private coaching sessions or private psychic, re uh, psychic sessions, that I, my goal is to make it like translatable. It's, if it's not real life, if it's not gonna be practical or somehow be able to work into my real life, I don't wanna separate myself just to do spiritual work. So when I do a, if I were to do a tarot thing, it seems very, um, it seems like a lot of work. And some people, to some people, I've seen some people use tarot decks, you guys, in a beautiful way, like in such an honoring, divine feminine, especially very earthy, very grounded way. And that's awesome. And that, but that's just not me. You know, it's, it's just not me. So when I use card decks, I'm not talking about um, uh, tarot specifically. Okay, I just, I really wanna be clear on that because I think there's a difference and sometimes a very, very um, big misperception about using cards and that kind of a thing. So, but I am gonna say that I'm not a traditional like psychic reader. Like I don't, I didn't start off my psychic work by doing cards. I've, I never did that. In fact, I got some cards to help me and to help me actually connect with angels, which is going to be a part of the work that I'll be sharing moving forward in the future. And so I do a lot of work with angels, archangels in private sessions. If you've had session with me, you know that, you know that I do. And so I'm like, hey, I gotta bring this out into the forefront and share it more with you. In fact, if you're interested in kind of watching a little bit of some channeling with a couple of angels, you could check Above Life channel. A couple of weeks ago, I did a, a Friday live stream where I think it was Ariel and I don't know if it was Michael, but two of them popped in and I'm like, okay, okay, you guys, I'm going to start doing some of this work um, and sharing it with you guys in groups. All right. Because why? Because you want connection, don't you? And you, you want support, don't you? Don't you want that? And using things like a card deck, and connecting with energy helpers like angels that are non-denominational, cross-cultural, and transcend any kind of social norms like they're androgynous, they're just, they're non-judging, they're so easy to feel and get inspired by. So of course we're gonna utilize those two things going into the new year. And some of my small group work will involve angels and that keeps you positive. Those angels are so positive. In fact, I'm gonna tell you a story about that in a little bit. Remind me if I forget about my story with Gabriel this morning, okay? So to get us started, I am gonna share with you this tool, this card deck, but I need your help. So let's activate the energy of your spirit. Where's your spirit? Right here. Hello, solar plexus, that belly button. It's called the belly button for a reason. It's the sun chakra for a reason because that is the temple of your spirit. That is the gorgeous, comfortable, favorite room of the house of your soul. One of your chakras, but just the home base of your intuition. That's why people say my gut instinct. My gut tells me. I'm feeling like mm, that is that compass within you. 
okay? So we are going to connect into that first. So let's connect into our belly. Activate that belly button. Just give yourself a second, two seconds, three seconds, five seconds, 30 seconds to connect in to your body. Because if you're going to be doing spirit stuff, if you really want to do it, if you want to do it well, if you want to do it well, you must do it in alignment with your body and your soul, your body and your soul together. You've got to bring it into manifestation form in your human life to allow that energy to nurture you, love you, support you. In order to do that, you've got to be in your body to do spiritual work, not leaving the body but being in the body. So physically feel your belly. Just <sighs> let your belly breathe. Let the energy of your lungs feel so expanded and soft like where the energy of the air flows right down out the bottom of your lungs into that belly and fills that belly creating a beautiful spiral of energy and a dot of white light. That golden spiral energy in that belly, just feel your belly, just touch your tummy. Oh, and activate that spiral of golden light with that dot of pure white right in the center, that star energy, that sun energy, balancing all of the energies of who you are in that center point star, that center energy right in that sacred spiral, that golden spiral, that star and, and sun energy, star and sun, star and sun. Feel that energy just being there in you. Feel that. Come into your body. Come into this safe and sacred space. In fact, let's tell your t healing team, hey, hey, it's time. Let's activate as you're touching your stomach. Let's activate an invitation. We invite your healing team aligned with your highest good, the energy of God, creator, source, and universe to connect in, to bring your energies into alignment from the crown all the way down that, that beautiful bridge of the spinal column honoring all the chakras and the energy centers of the body. And as that energy flows down from the crown deep into the body, allow the air to come in and exhale out to flow in a rhythm that's comfortable for you. As this energy is coming down. Oh gosh, giving your body that permission to be included to be accepted into your spiritual experience, to become one with the energy flow, to understand the rhythm of your incredibly miraculous human body. Just feeling the connection between your body and your spirit as that energy drops down from the heart, as you're breathing in and the lungs just reach oh, gently down into the belly and just soothing the belly, activating that golden spiral honoring your intuition, your soul, and the dot of light in the center, which is your sun energy vibration and the star energy vibration. Ooh, okay, all right. Everything feels kind of out in front of me, so I'm just gonna ask my team to help to ground me a little bit. Hmm. I'm gonna ground in through my low uh, pelvis, through my sits bones, which I'm gonna feel the the bottom of the pelvis as there's a beautiful meridian that goes across the hips. So I'm, ask, I'm gonna ask for the energy for myself and you can do this if you choose to, to come down through the hips and to create kind of a balancing platform or a circular disc to sit upon. There's a lot of solar plexus energy being activated. I wanna honor the fact that right now our intention is connecting through what has been for you in 2019 we're not gonna excavate. We're not gonna dig up any mess. In fact, we already got those boxes all over the dang house, whether it's decor, Christmas decorations, or decluttering, because you all know you've been doing some of that a little bit, or avoiding it, avoiding it perhaps. Maybe you got dishes piled on the sink, uh-huh. Or laundry in the baskets. You guys, that's really a physical sign, not just of the holidays, not just that you're tired, but that you're like, 
you have to make a conscious intention, set an intention to be able to release what is perhaps in your way, what is perhaps just extra. Like, you guys, we don't need extra. We are extra. Aren't you extra? You're extra. Be extra. But don't have extra. Don't hold on to extra. Don't clutter your energy. Don't clutter this space. So this 2019 energy that we're going to honor because we're here right now, you guys. When you wake up tomorrow, it's new. It's a reset. Every day of 2020 is a reset. Don't freak out and focus on, oh my gosh, this. Oh my God, this. Oh my God, this. This is so important right now. This is so important. Oh my gosh, I have to clear this stuff. I have to move this stuff. I have to decide things. I got to do my word of the year tomorrow. I have to launch my website. I have to blah, 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 blah. Okay coming into our bodies, <laughs> balancing at that, those sits bones, that sacral chakra, where all that drive, desire, and energy, ambition is. And let's set an intention to acknowledge here right now today is 2019. We are here. We are on the outgoing end of the energy for this year. And there's been a lot that you have felt this year. There have been losses. There's grief, there's some incredible celebrations, there are some major life changes that you've been going through. And a lot of this 2019 energy, I got news for you, isn't just gonna flip the switch into a new decade instantly. It's gonna take every day for you to wake up and have an opportunity for a new reset, a new reset, a new reset, a new alignment a new alignment, a new alignment, a renewed alignment. You don't have to change everything tomorrow. 2019 has been, at least from my perspective, trying to look back on the year it was so overwhelming, I can barely do it. I, I went through a beautiful workshop and where I was guided through this whole thing about reflecting upon the last year and I could barely do it let alone the last 10 years, you guys. I mean, it's been incredible, right? There's a lot. And so instead of rehashing or digging up stuff, let life unfold for you. Let 2019, it's not about kicking out 2019 because it was bad, and it's not about hanging on to it because it was good. It's about just being here. There's an energy of acceptance. Those sits bones at that sacral chakra are helping us to root into an energy of embrace. Embrace. I want to use the word acceptance, but the energy that's coming forward through divine feminine energy, including the energy from your spiritual helpers, your healing team aligned with your highest good energy of God, goddess, creator, source, universe, connecting in through you and to you and your physical human body, activating that solar plexus, activating that sacral chakra, honoring the beautiful connection that you have to the life you have here now. And we are in 2019. Don't buy into the hype, ladies. Don't buy the hype. Embrace here and now. If in the days to come, things come up to present to you through your awareness, opportunity for healing or for clearing, then embrace that. Embrace it. Use that word embrace and embrace it. And then do with it what you choose, but do not feel pressured outside. See this right here and right now as an opportunity. Be in this moment. Savor the gentleness of this evening. If you are at home and not going out, if you're gonna cuddle up and watch a movie, embrace that. If you feel out into the world, the energy is an opportunity for, it's not a pressure, pressure, push ahead, like work, business, that kind of a thing. People are partying. <laughs> People are experiencing the change and the shift into the new decade at different times around the world. And so for you too, there's an opportunity to l allow that energy, just embrace wherever you're feeling at. Use your body as a guidepost in alignment with your spirit and allow yourself to gently and naturally transition, to gradually and slowly shift into the new year. And all of a sudden what will happen for you likely is one day you'll wake up and you'll just feel different. 
and the switch will go on and you'll be a little more charged and then you know you'll be connected into whatever that new energy is but do not feel pressure to plug in before you're ready which gives us an opportunity here and now to do some clearing so let's talk about that let's clear out some energy i'm not talking about airing your dirty laundry and digging up stuff that's going into detail on stuff that's been really hurtful to you i'm just suggesting that you allow something to come forward for clearing you don't even have to name it you just have to allow it to be present and then to allow that energy to be we're going to do it like we'll do a group kind of circular i'll use the sacred spiral the golden spiral since that's what activated in our solar plexus we'll let it come out we'll gather it up and we'll blow it away much like a shaman does okay we'll blow away the energy so i'll give you a moment being in your physical body connected to divine feminine energy honored by your spiritual healing team activated in that solar plexus with that golden spiral that dot of sunlight that dot that's also star energy connected for you that sacral chakra and that balancing that gorgeous platform that goes across the hips that meridian that just stabilizes your energy so that you can embrace and allow for something to come forward for clearing you don't even have to name it just allow to come forward for clearing activating your higher self to bring that forward allowing your higher self to bring that forward for you okay let's do that take a breath Whatever comes forward. If you have a journal or a notebook, you can write stuff down if you want to do that, okay? But let it come forward. Bring it forward, bring it forward, and be willing to give it. Be willing to give it. Set it in the center of the circle. Just set it right here, golden spiral, right here on our platform. Give it. You're not giving it to me. You're giving it to the earth. You're giving it to the center of the spiral you're giving it to fuel the energy for you of your intuitive life connecting to your purpose fueling your path lighting your way bring it to the center of the circle bring it come on bring it if you want to speak it you can do that and i'll honor you by sharing a few of those but bring it come on i got all the time in the world right now ladies mm-hmm Bring it. Do you want to be witnessed? Bring it. Mm. What do you want? To clear what is ready for clearing is there a part of your physical body that is experiencing pain or restriction is there a part of your heart that has had some challenges this year and you're ready to allow some of that excess dust from that experience that struggle that you've had in some area of your life let's bring it to the center of the circle Bring it to the center, ladies. Bring it right here, bring it here. Let's clear it. Let's clear it away. Self-doubt, mm-hmm. Self-doubt, bringing self-doubt to the center of the circle. Gonna put it into the spiral. and offer it to the earth because the earth is an incredible repurposer of energy. It's not just recycling, my friends, it's repurposing the energy. That which is negative turns into light. If we are willing to allow ourselves to recognize that struggle is a natural part of our experience. So in order to clear out some of that, we have to be willing to feel a little uncomfortable with it. Again, we don't have to name it. I'm not asking you to dig up your painful stuff but I'm giving you the permission and the invitation to set it into the circle and to allow it to be embraced 
by the earthly energy and to be transmuted into something more positive, healthy, and hopeful for not just you, but for other women. Because when you speak for one woman, you speak for all women. Self-doubt, yes, okay, perfect. I would like to release that too. We throw it into the center. Oh, here's a couple. Resentment. Resentment. Mm hmm. Ugh, that's a big one. Blaming assumptions. Ooh, I think I hear the word expectations. <gasps> Let's put that in there too. Let's put expectations into the spiral, that golden spiral, <sighs> and let it go. Let's transmute that energy of expectation. Let's give ourselves freedom and expansion. When we release that, start to release it. Now, I am not naive to believe that, oh, magically everything's gonna be fine and all of a sudden your life's gonna be perfect because you've released. In fact, what can happen is you've turned up the heat. You might get even more uncomfortable. Warning, warning, you very well could. But if you do, that's a good thing. That's when your handy dandy journal comes in handy and you write and you use all of these tools like writing, like card decks to keep yourself positive while you continue to clear. Sometimes thoughts come forward to show your pattern, so it might enhance. And that's a good thing because that means you are aware and awareness is power. All right. Yeehaw. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I scared your cats, huh, with that yogi lion breath. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it must be done. All right. Oh, depression and anxiety. Oh my gosh. Let's do that at the throat chakra, heart chakra. I can feel that. Let's dig out some of the false layered. It's kind of like a sticky, thicky. It's almost like a sticky film over the throat chakra. That's how energy of anxiety and depression shows up when they're combined together for me. Um, I feel them, see them as covering the throat chakra and the heart. So let's rub both these areas energetically and pull out some of the sticky film. We're just clearing the way. We're just helping to clear that off. Like um, bugs on a windshield, like snow on the windshield, like ice on the windshield, which is what we have here in Minnesota today, but we're just gonna clear that off. It's not gonna magically go away, but it can lighten up. We'll put it in the center of the circle and we'll lighten it up. Incidentally, when I spoke about my time in New Hampshire this summer, and that's why like my picture has is from that. It's right from the ocean side there in New Hampshire. And that is where I use this tool of breath that I use. It's a energy and it can blow away stuff. It can activate stuff. It's just a powerful tool, that element. And I've used it forever for seven years maybe I don't know it's been a long time so it's just kind of I know that a lot of shamans use it so but it's just something I work with all right let's see um, let's see here let's oh chronic pain oh that's not fun all right so that's not fun so if there's pain in the physical body allow yourself to Let's become aware of it. Become aware of it. And I acknowledge the shoulder pain because I have that. I get that too. But it sounds like you have it kind of real deep inside there, right? So allow the energy of that area to activate and connect with love, to embrace it. Not turn away from it, not ignore it, but lean into it as an energy thing. Not physically feeling it, but energetically wrapping it with acceptance of, not acceptance, with embracing it, embracing it. Let's embrace it. Let's embrace it. We're going to try something different. We're going to embrace it. Don't be afraid that it's never going to go. Uh-uh, we can't be afraid. We have to accept all the parts of us that we don't feel are perfect, that we don't feel are whole. We can't just separate them out or numb them with painkillers. We have to embrace them as part of who we are. And then when we embrace them and bring them together, we can love them into the wholeness of ourselves. So try this energy. Allow yourself to embrace this energy and then ask your spiritual healing team to connect. Trust issues, worry, yes, let's put that in both of those things. 
Oh my gosh, the worry. Hello, everybody. Hello, every empath ever known to man. The worry energy, the flip side of worry energy is being able to connect with the fact that you are so sensitive and to allow that flow to be something that's positive and powerful and connected. So we accept the fact that we're feeling something that is bringing in discord to us. It's acknowledging that we are experiencing something that is different than who we really are and how we naturally are. So then we can make a choice instead of to worry, to step into our power. This takes practices by being aware and stepping back into your power to do things that help you get into alignment. And for everybody, alignment, getting into alignment is different. It might be journaling, it might be a patterning of doing yoga, it might be meditations, it might be a consistent practice of simply acknowledging that and creating some kind of mantra to change or adjust the pattern instead of being distracted into worry or lulled into worry, because worry is a great distractor. It takes you off your path, so bring yourself back into your alignment and then deal with it at an intellectual level when you're able to do so, but acknowledge the worry energy as information. It's information and then make a choice as to how you want to interact, dance, and, and, and not just receive, but embrace the energy. Because what worry usually means is love. Or what worry can usually mean is that it matters to you. Something matters. And guess what? Everything matters to you because you care. And these are good traits. So connect into the good traits. Not the flip side, not the overuse of caring energy. Overuse of caring too much can create worry. I'm not suggesting you don't care. I'm just suggesting that you honor the energy of the flow and the natural rhythm. So let's put that worry energy into that golden spiral for transmutation. And then let's put that other energy, let's see. Um, let's see if I can, let's see. Just a second here. Let me see if we can clear some more of this stuff. Let's do that here. All right, so trust issues. Let's talk about that for a second. Trust is a big, um, oopsies, just a second, guys. I'm all over the place here with this. I'm trying to follow the chat. Trust issues is a big thing, right? That capital T, that big word, that's a huge word. That's a really big word. Trust issues, what is that about? So what is the desire of trust? What is trust really about? I want to trust, I want to be connected, or I want support. I think for all of us, it's probably a little bit different. I see Archangel Ariel step right in. Archangel Ariel is an Archangel, beautiful purple energy or a very strong divine feminine woman. She's a warrior. She advocates for self-love. She also works with organization, business, entrepreneurialism. She helps us to claim our power, make our own choices, make better choices, choices for us, not for other people. Choices for us, not for other people. That's where this is coming in. This trust energy piece is showing up in this way, okay? She's showing up to help us to embody, it goes back to that self-doubt a little bit, a confidence within ourselves and the ability to make choices for ourselves that are best for us. Even if other people don't want us to make those choices, even if we have to say no to people, we're gonna have to do that. If you care enough about yourself and you wanna have longevity and you wanna build trust, it happens over time and it starts with you inside. And I know, because this is one of my things for 2020 that I gotta work on, that going back to that story with Archangel Gabriel, I'm gonna have to tell you about that, what he told me. Because he gave me some good intel, so we have to talk about that. But let's see here, let's focus. So trust issues, instead of throwing it away to clear it, let's actually step into a place where we're gonna receive right now. Let's receive a new, let's shift and change our perspective and receive a new way of connecting with the vibration of trust. Let's allow that energy to manifest in our lives, to show up in a way of self-love, self-care, a way of respect, a way of perhaps choosing more positive thought, feeling action by doing things like meditation, by doing things like, like mantras, by doing things like putting an app on your phone for positive quotes, by doing things like every day, start your day off with the TED Talk, or by doing things like reading a Bible verse every day, if that's your thing, or reading a beautiful piece of poetry every day, if that's your thing, that kind of thing. 
all right? Let's do that. Let's experience the beginning of trust in a way that we want to receive it in, a, in simple ways, in natural ways, in just really grassroot ways where we start to build trust within ourselves. And that happens by taking care of ourselves. That happens by recognizing our energy and by caring about our own energy, our own energy, because it matters so much. It matters so much. All right. Hmm. I want to breathe this again. Okay, just a second, guys. I'm going to clean up the chat here. Okay. All right. Oh, grief. I'm sorry. I can see that. All right, you guys. Whoopsies. Now I'm listening to myself. Sorry, give me a second, give me a second. Just keep breathing, my friends. Let's switch into the real fun part. I gotta tell you the story about Archangel Gabriel. Let's do that. I know I don't wanna be on here too long and I'm probably on here forever right now. Sorry, guys. Um, somebody is commenting here and they're being kind of, I don't understand what they're trying to do, but all right, let's see. Uh, let's just delete this. All right, you guys. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay. All right, got it. Okay, good, 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 good. Just a second. Oops, you guys, I can't really comment on here. Yeah, I just I just um, did a little cleanup, just so you guys know. I just did a block. I just used my blockage. My blockage! So I used resistance in a good way. I blocked somebody. <laughs> chung, 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 chung. <laughs> okay, no, seriously, I have not had any champagne whatsoever. But I'm happy to be here with you and celebrate with you. Okay, so we shift out of a clearing energy. But be be aware that now we've activated some of that. So we may have stirred some things up, you guys. We may have stirred the pot. And that's okay, you guys. It's okay. Don't get freaked out, stressed out about stuff that makes you uncomfortable. Be glad for it because at least you're aware of it. Because you know a lot of ding-dongs walk around in the world and they're not aware. And you have the gift of awareness. So be grateful for that. Be grateful. It doesn't mean you have a perfect life. It means you have a beautifully co-created life, all right? Okay, so we are going to, oh, I gotta tell that Gabriel story. Um, so Gabriel's story is, let's see, I'm just gonna delete this here. Just a second, sorry guys, I already, I blocked somebody now, I gotta delete their comments here. That's what happens. Sometimes you get funky comments, you guys, when you don't do something privately, which is why when I do groups now, I'm gonna do some small group work and I'll talk to you about that and you have an opportunity to join me in a small group tomorrow on January 1st at 1 p.m. Central Time. 25 people have the opportunity to sign up to join a group with me with intention. And so that's how you keep out the riffraff you actually charge for your services. Imagine that. So we're gonna have a small psychic group tomorrow. It's gonna to be fun. So I'll share that info a little bit later here. Okay, oh, hey, Erica. Hey, Rebecca, nice to see you guys. Okay, and I will say, this will be saved here at Bridget Inspired, this video, so you can come back and watch it. This video is totally free and all that jazz. Okay, so, so my Archangel Gabriel story. Okay, so here's what happened, you guys. So this morning I did a meditation. I've been getting, I've been really good working on being loved by my, by me, being loved by me. And part of doing that is making an effort to do my meditations in the morning. So I have been doing that. And that's been a practice that I brought back into my life because I know it does, it serves me so well. 
when I actually make time to do that for myself. It's just a gift for myself. And so I did a meditation and I ended up sitting on a bench near Archangel Gabriel. And I wasn't intentionally trying to talk to Archangel Gabriel, but Archangel Gabriel is who showed up. And Archangel Gabriel and I, we go way back. I see Archangel Gabriel kind of as a Danny Kay. Uh, entertainer, very flashy, uh, sparkly sequins jacket, very nimble on his feet, like a dancer type, um, very expressive and fun. He's got curly blonde hair. And so I was sitting down next to him. I'm like, wait a minute. What? I'm like trying to be all serious, Gabe. I'm like trying to get my like divine feminine connection, aligning my energy, allowing my, my words of the year to come to me. I'm doing this meditation. Also, I'm sitting on a bench next to Archangel Gabriel. And he says to me, as I'm also worrying about paying bills, taxes, college tuition, all that stuff, right? Like everybody else is, right? Like you guys are feeling that? Yeah, yeah, because we're real people. That's what happens. And I'm thinking this stuff is coming in and out of my mind. I'm sitting on a bench next to Archangel Gabriel. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and he says, you're going to lighten up, Bridget. <laughs> but he says, you're going to lighten up. You, you gotta lighten up. I'm like, okay. You're way too serious about this. You're just way, you gotta lighten up. You gotta lighten up. Be lighter. Be lighter. This is the advice he gives to me. I'm like, okay. He's right. He's right. I gotta lighten up. And so I am looking forward to being a little more playful in my, some of my group sessions that I do. I have a, um, I have a long-standing relationship with Archangels and I need to start sharing more of that with you guys, especially in small groups, because in small groups you get to connect with other people and it feels good and you can start to make friends that actually get it, that are like-minded kindred spirits, which is very, very important. And so I'm going to start sharing more with them. So tomorrow I am, like I said, for 25 people, I, I will post it on here and the first 25 that sign up um, can participate. And let's see here. Let me just do this here in just a minute. Okay. All right, just a minute, you guys, here. I blocked this person, but it's still showing up. I don't know why. Let's see. Give me a second. Just a minute here. Okay. So, oh, Nathan, just a second. I have a kid coming upstairs. Hey, I'm doing a live stream. You need to get away. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, you need to get away. I don't want any copyright infringements with his videos. Because <laughs> that's, it's life, right? This is what happens when you try to work at night, in the evening. All right, so let me go back here. Yeah, so. Go a little lighter. So I'm gonna share with you the information about this briefly and then let's do some cards for you guys, okay? Let's get some some 2019. Yes, I said 19, because we are not in 2020 yet. Don't get ahead of yourselves, that's part of our problems. Rush, 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 hurry, 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 hurry. No, 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 no. Let's be here now, my friends. We are embracing where we're at and we're better than able to clear, to, do, to continue clearing and to receive. Because you can do both at the same time. You've got to be able to do both at the same time. All right, so let's be here now. Okay, so here we go. I want to read this to you so I have an idea. Let's see if I can share this. Let me try to share it. Small group limited to 25 people tomorrow, January 1st at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oh, 
Let's see if it works here. I'm going to try this. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to try this new link on Facebook. It's been a while since I've been on Facebook, so we'll see if it works. And I'm going to tell you what it is. Pay attention. Pay attention. All right, so the information is this. It's about what's up for 2020. Let's find out. Insightful psychic information in a fun and positive environment with Bridget at Above Life Channel. This is not a situation where you get private, personal psychic readings. Mm -mm. This is a group experience. So don't sign up. If you only want a private session, that's what private sessions are for. And there's information, new updated information about private sessions on Above Life Channel, my services page. So check that out if you need a private session. But this is a group experience. It's an hour long, starting at one o'clock Central Standard Time tomorrow. And there will be a message that's shared with the group as a whole. I will pick a few people out to do, um, to do some questions for, or maybe give some information or messages to, that just feels like the right connection, randomly, okay? Again, it's limited to 25 people. The cost, there, there's a fee. I have a business, there's a fee, $25. Yeah, I know, $25 is not gonna set you back too much. It'd be worth it. Um, I'm gonna do it through a, a software platform called Zoom, which allows for video conferencing. It's free software. So if you've used Zoom before, great. If you haven't, it's not complicated. And you don't have to be on video. You don't have to be on audio. There's a chat window. That's how we will communicate, okay? So um, there you go. Again, it's not for personal psychic information. If that's what you want, consider a session. And that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna do one of these. We'll see how it goes. If it's super fun, um, we'll do more. Okay, sound good? Sounds good. That keeps things a little lighter, doesn't it? Oh yes, it does, oh, yes it does. Okay, so, oh, it takes you to a blank page. Oh, okay, all right, nowhere to pay. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so, I, so the link isn't working correctly. All right, that's all right. I will post something at the end here. I will post at the end of our call, of our live stream and then gather your info and send payment, PayPal request. Okay, so let's just copy and paste this then. I'll give you information about what this is so you can see it. Okay. Let's copy this. I just want to get it on here right now because I, I don't want to get all excited to be done with our thing and forget it. Okay, let's see, paste. All right, there you go. Nah, that's a huge comment, but I'll do a new, I'll do a fresh post, you guys, when I'm all done. And then I'll collect names and probably do emails because that's the easiest way to do it. So I'm kind of doing this off the cuff because I want to make sure, I wanted to offer something more than just me blabbing on for a bit. Um, I wanted to do a little more meaningful, like 2020 stuff, but we can't do that till 2020. Like, why would I do that now? Please, too early. Okay. All right, my friends, let's do some cards. Who wants to do cards? Let's do cards. Let's do a couple for the year um, that we've been through. All right. So the energy that the things that we've wanted to clear from our 2019, what's showing up for us here and now today, let's Let's do a little bit of, let's get a little extra support in that. Let's get a little insight for that. Maybe we can get something positive to plug in and serve as a guide or serve as an energy placeholder for what we have cleared or what we want to clear. Because when you clear something away, something new comes in to take its place. So we have to be active and aware of our energy so we can step into alignment with what we desire and not what we want to kick out or sweep away. Okay, so let's get something for us as a whole group to help us with the clearing, to support the continued clearing, okay? Whatever it is, if it's shown up or if it's not, there's like two that just flew right out of here. Okay, I have two in my hand, so we're gonna use both of these, okay? So one or the other may apply to you or both. So these are messages for you regarding clearing, clarity, and I'm getting a triangle, so resistance. So these cards are gonna to have to do with clearing, clarity, and resistance. Clearing, clarity, resistance. 
clearing clarity resistance, okay? These are for you, for your soul, for your spirit. Are you ready to receive? All righty then, let's do it. Okay, the first one is vast vistas, expand your horizons. Here's the imagery. Oftentimes when I work with card decks, the first thing I will suggest to you, because I'm super visual, let's all be visionaries. Got to see it, right? Manifest it, right? Take a look at the colors. Take a look at the imagery. Take a look at the person. Take a look at the items, the symbols. What metaphors, what meanings could this card possibly be showing to you when you look at the colors? When you look at the imagery, when you look at the natural environmental surroundings, what do you see? How does this card apply to you right away? What is your first impression what stands out most then you can take opportunity to go deeper to look at different levels of possibility when you do this is how you read a card my friends you use your senses first the visual the color color is powerful information symbolism look at the symbols here okay then look for the elements do you see earth air fire water which one stands out to you the most Connect in and, and, and utilize the alchemy of that particular element. Do you see how this goes? You connect with what is the most meaningful to you here and now. Again, it's for clearing, clarity, and resistance, specifically to help with one of these three points or all three of these points for you. Okay? All right, let's read the words to this. Expand, expand, expand your horizons. So what you can do here today in 2019 is we are on the last stretch of this journey. We can expand. We can broaden our ability to connect center ground, to align with our life as we are here and now. Not the past, not the future, but the present here and now. We can align with that root chakra energy, our sits bones, here and now. Connect with that. That's what the expand is. Broaden your base. Broaden your centering capacity. Shore that up, okay? And then, and then the horizon piece is the future, right? <gasps> cool. Be open to the possibilities. Remember how I said just a little while ago how each day of 2020 is an opportunity for a new, a renew? That's what the horizon energy vibration means. Now, my interpretation of a card is Bridget, me, reading a card, which means you must take from it what makes the most sense to you. Chuck everything I just said if it doesn't apply to you. Create your own connection. Trust your own instincts to receive the information or message that you choose to receive. This is awesome with the gorgeous purple cape flowing at the back like a superhero. That purple is that divine feminine energy. And then I notice on the hat there's a plume of red, which actually is a grounding energy. Interesting that the red plume is on the, the top of the head, which usually the crown chakra is purple, but it's red here. So what is that about? Hello, expand, ground and center. Grounding energy, root chakra right there my friends balancing energy as above so below i love this this is good kind of makes me feel a little bit of robin hood vibes a little bit of joan of arc vibes who i love who's one of my guides uh-huh if we do small group stuff you'll probably in the future you'll probably hear about that if i start to channel which i plan to start to do some channeling stuff with archangels and guides and that kind of a thing but that's what this reminds me of. But she's sitting on something. It looks like a box. It looks like a box. Yes, it does. Oh, but I see a boat out in the in the the water. I see a boat. So maybe we're traveling. Maybe we're going someplace. Maybe the water element is really activated for you. Maybe there's adventure, discovery that's here for you. Maybe you're starting to dream about. Maybe you want to travel someplace. Do you? I know I do. I do. I'm hoping I can make it happen. I wanted to. So we'll see, we'll see what happens in 2020. But there's also like, interesting. So the golden energy here with the leaves on the trees, 
To me, that feels a little bit like autumn, which is a change, a significant, uh, signifies a change of season where we kind of slow down a little bit from autumn into winter. But this, the fact that the leaves are gold connects to that golden spiral of the, the solar plexus, intuition, the spirit is full on and present. And the fact that it's showing up in foliage and leaves, creating a canopy is awesome. Because to me, that means it's more present. Like you can see it, it's more, hello, obvious intuition. We're expanding our horizons after all. More obvious intuition, that's what that feels like to me. I like this, I like this vibe. And then here's this road. It's not a straight path, it's a little crooked path. Maybe 2019 was a little bit of a crooked path. Did you take a little bit of a long way? Did you get lost on a detour? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm not even kidding. If you were with me in my retreat this year, you know I got lost on a detour. <laughs> so yes, maybe we've gotten a little detour, but don't, no worries, we can still see. We've got a good advantage point here of perspective. We can still see the boat. We can still get to the boat, my friends. We can still do it. Yes, we can. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but that feather or the leaves could also be a symbol of the energy of the air element, which is a natural alchemy for you. So the elements are a natural alchemy for you. So you see how much information you can get from a card? So take what works for you and leave the rest. All right, so that's the first one. Next, we have the second one. This goes with this one, so it might be one or the other for you. Here's the second one. All right, I wanna take a peek at it first. Oh, it says begin now, take your first step. Let's look at the card, the colors, the symbols, and the elements that are available. Remember, this has to do with clearing, clarity, or perhaps some advice about resistance. And it's all about embracing here, where we're at right here. Begin now. Oh, I like that word now. Oh my gosh, I like that word. Hey, look, is there two people in here? Oh yeah, I th seem to see two people on this journey. Is this your spirit guide and this you, perhaps? So are you coming or going? Which direction are you heading? Are you coming home? Or are you embarking on a journey? I see a path. I see earth element. I see lots of green, green energy vibration. Green also connects with Archangel Ariel. Let me just say that. Archangel Ariel will show up as purple or green when I work with her, when I work with her. That's my perspective, my experience. You might see her differently, but for now, starting out, let's just say she's got some green, lots of green. And this energy is like new, beginning, opportunity, abundance. Who wants some abundance? Oh, I do, I do, I do. In order to have abundance, we have to be able to receive. We have to be a little more brave, courageous. We have to find some courage in the area of discomfort. We have to set out on this journey. Now, we know that our shoes aren't gonna be perfect. Oh, look, and there's a little one. It looks like there's another little person here too. There's a little person. Maybe this is your higher self, you, and your little, your inner self, your little, little child self. Three aspects of who you are. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Mother, Maiden, Matriarch. Ooh, perhaps. That feels good, actually. That feels really good. Do you guys feel that? There's also some birds, which are angels, archangel energy. This energy of prosperity and abundance, though, is really, it's rich. Like there's a richness, richness or lushness about this. So it feels like where we are right here is not all that bad. We're not trying to outrun 2019. We're just going to say, hey, hey, thanks for whatever this has been. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my night. And when I wake up tomorrow, it's a brand new day. As is every day in 2020, right? You can always start new any day. So what do you notice here? Go ahead and write that down if you have a journal or write what stands out to you. The colors, the imagery, look for the symbols here. Look for the elements, which elements are showing up to you. There's so much yellow here too. Hello, solar plexus. One more time, intuition. Woo, look at that. Spirit chakra activated. Now that green energy could also be connected to the heart and it could show a divine and trusting relationship between the heart and the soul, the heart and the soul. Feel that energy vibration, the heart and the soul, the heart and the soul. All right, my friends. Ooh. 
Oh, this feels really good to me. All right, let's put these together and take a look at the big picture. Oops. I'm on low power mode on my battery, so we'll see how it happens here. All right, so we've got these two, pic these two imageries here for you. This is information for you, messages for your spirit. Do you see a pattern? Do you see a connection? Do you see a natural flow? I see some common patterns, common, common theming. I see being up high and going downhill. So having a good vantage point, a good viewpoint or perspective, the higher up you get, the more big picture you can be. I also see a lot of green energy, earth energy, prosperity, abundance, opportunity. I also see some paths. They look different. We take different paths. I also see, let's see, what else do I see that really stands out to me? Hmm. I like the yellows, the horizon energy. That looks nice. These two fit together rather nicely. If I don't look at the top parts and I just see it here, expand your horizons, take the first steps. Expand your horizons, take the first steps. Those could be mantras. You could write them on a post-it note and put it on your computer, put it on the fridge, put it on the dashboard of the car, put it at work. Expand your horizons, take the first step. Expand your horizons, take the first step. Now, what I'd like to do is give a couple of you an opportunity for an extra card. So, if you would like me to draw an extra card for you, go ahead and put a heart emoji, please. And while you're doing that, I am gonna go and grab my battery so we don't lose my phone. Just a minute. Oh, I'm almost done. Almost done. I just have to plug in my. Uh oh. Let's see if this will work. Let's see if this will work. Okay, hopefully this one will work because the other one is in my. Uh oh. Oops, just a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Put hearts. If you want a card? Just a minute. I'll be right back. I gotta grab my. All right, let's plug this puppy in just a second, you guys. Hello, the wonders of technology and being busy and not charging my phone. Okay. All right, here we go. Hey, thanks for that. Okay, I'm going to take number seven and I'm going to take number 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update my thing. I just picked random numbers as you guys are writing hearts. I'm going to refresh. Pick number seven, one. Let's see. Seven and 12, let's do some cards for some of y'all. Okay. I will take a picture of these cards and post the picture of the cards on the feed. Okay, after we're done, I'll take a picture and post them on there so you can see them. Okay, so let's see. I only see two, there's more than that. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the hearts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Haley, is it Haley or Hallie? I hope it's Haley. Yeah, Haley, I think so, right? Am I right? I hope I'm right. Tell me, is it Haley? Hey, like H-A-Y? I always feel bad when I mispronounce people's uh, names. All right. Reload. Okay, we're doing Hallie first. I'm sorry, Haley, Hallie. Gosh, I don't know. How about I call her H? Let's call her H. We'll do H first. <laughs> Honestly, I have not had any champagne. I should. I should go over to YouTube and just have like a bottle of champagne. Oh, Hallie, like Halle Berry. Oh, cool. All right, Hallie. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. All right. So let's do that. So we'll do one for Hallie. And actually, if you look at my card deck, there's one already sticking out. 
So this one's for you, my dear. And for anybody else who chooses to accept the energy of transformation, a fresh new way of living energies. Here we go. I don't want to interpret these too much for you. I want you guys to be able to do it yourself. But this is a phoenix bird energy. It could be a falcon. If you're connected to goddess Isis, it might be a falcon. Ooh, anything with birds like that are so powerful. Could be angelic energy. I love that orangish color, orangish yellow. That orange is that sacral chakra. Again, I don't really want to interpret too much for you. I want you to interpret it for yourself and how it connects to your life now. And how does it resonate with these other two cards? The expand your horizons, take the first step. Expand your horizons, take the first step. A fresh new way of living emerges. Oh, I'm sorry, it said, I said energies. A fresh new way of living emerges. Expand your horizons, take the first step. A, a new way, a fresh, fresh. Didn't I just say that every day in 2020 is gonna be like a fresh new way of living emerges? <laughs> I think the totem animal is important for you. I'm gonna say that right now, Hallie. But I don't know that it's a phoenix. It might be a falcon. And a falcon to me is connected to Isis, to the goddess Isis. So I would look up info on goddess Isis. And I would also look up info on the falcon. Now, if you're more connected to the phoenix, fine. And you want to journal about that, write about that, go for it. If somebody else, if you're not really feeling the bird vibe, use the word transformation. Add that to your energy for 2020 <laughs> as you look ahead, right? Woo! Because this feels more ahead than 2019, doesn't it? Doesn't this feel like ahead? Like advice for ahead? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's step into another. Let me just see if I can grab. It is so tricky to do this. My goodness sakes. Okay. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right. Let's reload. I said 12. So let me take a peek here. So she was 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, T, I got T here, just a minute. Oh, goodness sakes. My dogs are not very happy with me right now because I was only gonna do like 45 minutes and here I am an hour and 15. I just, I can't, guys, I just, this kind of creativity just cannot be restricted. <laughs> okay, so that's me having too much fun with you guys, all right. Um, when we do a small group, by the way, it'll be a little bit different than this. I will chat with you and stuff, but it'll be more focused on the group as a whole and channeling a live message. And then we'll do cards at the end because I want to do cards. I want to do like a card kind of vibe for you guys so each of you can have your own kind of cards. So let's see. Oh, let me see. Goodness gracious. All right. Uh, Teresa, I've had the fresh start idea. Okay, good. Okay, just a second, guys. Hello, technology. I love you so much. Mm -hmm. All right, I want to be able to see everybody. Pages. Oh, by the way, if you don't know already, I actually put Bridget Inspired on Instagram. So I'm at Bridget Inspired on Instagram. I'm just starting. I'm kind of clunky, clumsy with it a little bit right now, but I just put some pictures of some things that inspire me. That's what I put on there. Shared with you a little bit of my personal life too, like a couple of my dogs <laughs> and my recent trip I took. So that'll, that's on there. All right, let's see. Um, all right, so I want, I'll say Teresa, Teresa Woodman. Okay. I have had this fresh start idea for me for months now. I'm excited. Good. Let's do another card for you, my dear. Let's do another card for you. And by the way, you guys, um, again, I'm going to mention at AboveLifeChannel.com, my website, AboveLifeChannel.com, I actually just updated my services page. So I have three different, whoops, whoa, that one just literally jumped out. Three different types of services for 2020. One is a traditional psychic session, but it's a psychic plus life session because if you work with me, I'm not your traditional psychic. I don't do readings. I don't do predictions. Why? Because I think you're quite capable of making choices for your life. It just helps to get a little extra insight from your spiritual helpers. So I talk to your angels and your guides and we have a conversation. I basically channel your intuition so you can hear yourself. 
tell yourself wisdom. That's what a, sesh, a psychic plus life session is like with me. And so I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna offer those like I always do. I'm also gonna offer just a mediumship only session. So if you just wanna talk to somebody in the afterlife, communicate with a loved one or family member, then I'm offering 30 minute or 45 minute sessions for you for that. That's it. That's your focus, that's what we do. And in that session, we also will talk with archangels because they help me to make the connection. So it's easier that way. Plus you get a little extra pick me up support. And so that's gonna be a separate option for people. And then thirdly, I'm actually gonna be opening up again my psychic plus life coaching. And so what basically that is, is it's a package of sessions, of psychic plus life sessions. So it's not just readings, it's not like that. It's not like that. If you want a psychic plus life sessions monthly, or if you want twice a month sessions, you can do that. The minimum package is three months, and then the price is adjusted. So it's a little bit less than just doing a session every once in a while with me. But it's more of a commitment, a trusting relationship to help you connect with your spirit, to help you learn to trust yourself by actually hearing yourself. Like I just articulate the stuff you already know, but I don't tell you answers. I don't predict your future because you create it. So the psychic plus life coaching sessions are for people who want consistent support, who really want to work through stuff and don't expect somebody else to take care of it for them. They're willing to show up and deal with what's in front of them to struggle and have it not be so pretty. They don't have to know all the answers and neither do I, because that's not what it's about. It's about that relationship. And I can hold that space for you and I can be there for you when we're in the great stuff and we're in the not so great stuff. It's a longer term committed relationship. And I wanna be that for you. And I've been an empowerment coach forever and I just haven't been sharing that aspect of my business because it takes a lot to do that, it's, it really is a commitment for me. I really feel a deeper connection to you. And so that's an option. So if you're interested in that, check that out at Above Life Channel, my services page, okay? All right, let's read this card for Miss Teresa. Oh, this is interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't care about the top one. I think this bottom one's gonna fit you real well, girl. The answers are within that golden spiral of energy. The ans answers are within. Taking shelter isn't about hiding. It's about reconnection. Oh, Teresa, 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 you have got to follow your intuition. Come on now. Get off the nest. Come on. Okay, so I know the environment here. I know it's cold. I know it's cold. It looks cold here. Look at this. There's snow. These other, these other pictures were all sunny and oh, this is snowy. This is snowy. But you know what? You got a light. You got to light a lamp onto your path. You have the support that you need. Bundle up. Get the proper, prepare. Get your boots on, girl. And get out there. Start to make some steps. Make some progress. The gate's down here. Yeah, it looks like a wall. It's not a wall of resistance. There's a gate. There's a gate. Look at the gate. On the other side, that house looks pretty darn warm. Look at that chimney. Oh my, hello fire. Hi fire element. Element of light and fire. Hey fire element. Activating the fire element is connecting to those sits bones, that sacral shock or that energy center of the womb space. What have you been creating? It's time to start walking toward those dreams. When you get here, you're gonna have help. Right away, it's gonna be exciting and then you're gonna start to have what? What did Laura talk about? Self-doubt, you're gonna have that. Here's self-doubt. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna start trying to get in here. There's a gate right here. Ask for help. When you get here, ask for help. Help. I need some help with this. And then you step through the gate and then there you are right there. Hello. So close. So close. Here we go. Okay. And for some of the rest of you, it might, this might be about taking time for yourself, disconnecting. It might be about some of that winter solstice energy, hunkering down, connecting in, going within into that deep belly, that low cauldron energy allowing the quietude to be there, the non-action to be present. Tonight is a time for non-action. You can write your ideas down, 
but don't launch anything major or make any major plans unless you've already done that. No more work for that. Allowing things to simmer. Allow that, that to curate. You know what I mean? You know when you make stuff sometimes, like especially stuff with spices in it, like soup, and the first day it's pretty good, but the next day it's so much better. It's like that. Let it get so much better. So for some of you, that's what the information is going to be. Non-action. Let it get so much better. Let it simmer. Let more information come. All right. All right, my friends. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take pictures of all of these. And you can thank Teresa and Hallie for these two cards, these last two cards that we have here. Let's put them together, actually, and see, see what the energy looks like together. Okay. And then these two that we had already. I'm going to take pictures of these and I'll put them on the, the feed. Okay. All right, you guys. With that, I want to thank your healing helpers aligned with your highest good, the energy of God, God is creator, source, universe, for being present for us tonight as we've moved through some clearing. We've kind of stirred a little, a few things up. Good news for you guys. I'm starting my session schedule on Friday, so I will be doing private sessions. But remember, I have a group opportunity for tomorrow at 1 on January 1st at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time for 25 people. So I'm going to post that. If you want to sign up for that, you can comment on that. Uh, and you're going to need to leave your email so that I can send you the links. Okay, we're going to do it. You're going to need to have access to a phone, a cell phone, a tablet, or a computer because it's going to be a video conferencing software called Zoom. If you're familiar with it, it's real easy, no big deal. It kind of looks like a YouTube live stream. It has the video, like you'll see me, you won't see you guys. Uh, all you guys will be muted, so you won't hear you guys either, and there'll be a chat window, and so we'll communicate and connect there. But the idea is about what's up for 2020 for us. So I'm going to do a group channeling and then I'll do some cards for some of you guys. Okay, so we'll do some of that. And it'll be about an hour long. Okay. All right, you guys, I want to say a big thank you to those of you who've been part of this process and journey tonight. Thanks for hanging with me. If you're watching on the, the replay, don't worry. Energy is alive and evergreen when you connect in. And so thank you for being here at Bridget Inspired, my Facebook page. I appreciate it very much. I want to say a big hello and a thank you to Erica. I love you so much. You know it. Um, Frith, thank you so much for joining us as well. Kim is here. Hi, nice to see you. As well as some of my dear, dear friends. I see Nashi is here. Thank you for Teresa for also being here and for Hallie for being here. Thank you so much to, let's see. Who else do I have here? I got Laura. I know I had Nashi. Let's just take a peek here. Make sure I'm not missing anybody. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Awesome, you guys. Nice to see you. Thank you. Okay, good. Some of you guys are posting. Hey, Lisa. Nice to see you. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Lisa, Lisa. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Gigi. Hi. Uh, Lindsay. Hi. Again, Lindsay. Nice to see you again. And I just to say hi to anybody else here if I can. Yeah, like I said, I'm not used to Facebook anymore. I'm getting too spoiled by YouTube, I think, to be honest. Oh, my goodness. All right, yeah, I can't even get it to upload right here on my screen. Kind of looks kind of funky. Oh, Rebecca's there. Yes, of course you are, my dear. Thank you. I see your comments on YouTube. Thank you for that. All right, you guys have a fantastic remainder of your evening. I hope it's quiet and not eventful. <laughs> I hope your spirit has some time to simmer and to let some of the energies just really come in and expand your centering, allow your physical body to be more fully present, to embrace, embrace the information and the intel that you are getting from that golden spiral of your spirit, of your soul. It's been my pleasure to be able to work with you in 2019 and I look forward to a lot of fun, interesting group stuff, watch for my group stuff, in 2020. Thanks so much, guys. Happy New Year. <laughs> Bye. Ooh, so much fun to see you guys.